Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to balance a card pole using a reinforcement learning. So in this project, we are going to use OpenAI Gym in order to create an environment and uh, try to balance a card pole. So these kind of uh, project workflow will be used for uh, making the character or some game automatically play. So reinforcement learning is a powerful uh, algorithm and uh, we can able to set various parameters and it will automatically learn. So the only drawback uh, we will feel that is the computation power. So it will take a lot of uh, computation power uh, if you are going for uh, deep reinforcement learning. But for now, uh, we are going to see a uh, simple reinforcement learning with the help of OpenAI Gym. So let's see the project description. A pole is attached by an unactuated joint to a cart which moves along a frictionless track. The system is controlled by applying a force of plus 1 or minus 1 to the cart. The pendulum starts upright and the goal is to prevent it from falling over. A reward of plus 1 is provided for every time step that the pole remains upright. The episode ends when the pole is more than 15 degrees from vertical. Like if you consider a straight pole means if you if it's fallen down like uh, 15 degrees from the vertical side like from 90 degrees if it's uh, gone to left or right means the episode will end so here episode is nothing but a whole uh, sequence a uh, complete gameplay so that is one condition or the cart moves over uh, 2.4 units from the center so we will have a cart if it moves 2.4 units from the center means at that time also the episode will end so we will see how the environment looks like and uh, how the whole logic applies. So we have to see that in detail. Before that, uh, we will try to install the modules. So we have to install few modules in order to actually work on this. So now I am going to install pip install gym. So this is one module. And after that, stable baselines 3. This is another module. So this is the latest version. The previous version is uh, stable baselines alone. So it has various modules, but uh, they are migrating it to PyTorch. That's why we have to use uh, stable baseline 3. So it supports uh, PyTorch and TensorFlow. In the previous stable lines, uh, it only supports uh, TensorFlow. So before installing these things, try to install uh, TensorFlow and uh, PyTorch if you want to use these modules. And these are the two important modules you have to install. I think uh, I'll just comment it because I already installed these modules. So I'll just comment it here. You just uh, uncomment it and run this uh, line. If you are facing some error means uh, ping me in the comments, I will try to help you. Usually you have to install both uh, TensorFlow and uh, PyTorch because based on the modules you have some kind of dependency. So these are the basic dependency you have to install. So that is done. After that we have to import the modules. So the first one is import gym. So this is the OpenAI gym environment. For each particular game they will create an environment and the agent all the parameters is automatically coded. So we can able to just import the game and uh, create some functions and uh, train our model. It will just ease our process. So that's the objective of uh, OpenAI Gym. So we are calling it here as Gym. Apart from that, we have to import few other things from stable baselines. So that will be from stable baselines 3 import PPO. So this is uh, one kind of algorithm that stable baselines have. There are uh, other kinds of algorithm like uh, A to C, DQ and there are various algorithms. You can able to see that in the documentations of stable baselines. And after that we have to import dummy vec environment. So from stable baselines 3 dot common common dot vec environment 
so import dummy vec environment so usually we will create a dummy vectorized environment you can also create other environment so we can able to parallelly uh, train multiple models so generally we have multiple cores so we can able to parallelly use it but here uh, it will be a single environment we are going to initialize and after that from stable baselines 3 dot common dot evaluation import evaluate policy so using this policy we can able to test our model using a single line so that's the objective or else you have to code like uh, two to like I think uh, five lines to evaluate a model there are alternate ways to test the environment I will show you how to do that first we will explore uh, how the environment works so we will import these modules now that's done let's create the environment for uh, cartpole first uh, let's define the name of the environment and name equals cartpole I find v0 so this is the name of the environment you have to carefully uh, define if you make any mistake means it won't work and after that we will create the environment equals gym dot make environment name so let's run this we have made our environment now we are going to test the environment with some random actions so the player is gonna be called as agent so we have like uh, two options like moving left or moving right so that is the actions that the agent can take initially I'm going to define it as random actions so we are going to see few things here first we will define a for loop for episode in range of 1 comma 11 so this is like 10 episodes I'm going to iterate and after that I will just create a score equals 0 these are some initializations score is nothing but the reward points and just uh, adding the rewards into the score and after that state equals environment dot reset we are resetting it as a new game so that's the function of reset and after that done equals false so if the episode is completed means it will return true so until that we will use a while loop while not done end dot render so this will render our environment after that we have to take some action so action equals environment dot action space dot sample so I will explain what is this contains so for action space we have two discrete values that is 0 and 1 if I say sample means it is actually a random action it will give you some number so it will be 0 or 1 that is moving left or right so that is our action we are getting here so that step is done so so that step is done after getting an action we have to make the action in the environment that is in the game now for that end state comma reward comma done comma info equals environment dot step and the corresponding action so this will take the corresponding action and it will return four variables so if done is true means it will break the loop and this will the and this is the reward we are getting so if we have some reward means we will add it to the score so reward and this is the state currently we are not updating the states 
so we will just uh, leave it as it is and after that we will print episode episode comma episode and uh, the score so score comma score so it will print all the scores and finally we have to close the environment here we have rendered it right so here we will close it environment dot close I think uh, initially it will be uh, much quicker so if you use the close option means uh, we can't able to see anything so for that I will just comment it here let's run this so here you can able to see it right it's trying to uh, balance this cart pole so this is our environment currently it just uh, stopped working because uh, it is completed and it's not receiving any input so this is the pole we are trying to balance and this is the cart the actions will be left and right we are trying to balance the pole uh, in a center way so here you can able to see the maximum score is 49 so our objective is to increase the score up to 200 that is the maximum performance we can able to get so these are all some random actions in here we are not training uh, anything we are just uh, taking some random action based on the random action it's producing this score maybe let's increase it to 100 episodes and we will also close the environment so before that i will close the current environment close now maybe I will just take it as 51 so 50 episodes is enough run this and uh, this is balancing the card pole so we are getting 49 if you are balancing well means we are getting higher score if it fallen so much means the episode will end so that's how it works so here uh, it's just falling uh, so much so it will uh, ending the episode continuously the maximum we are getting from the random actions is 78 so we will keep the score think uh, it's doing at least okay for uh, taking the random actions so it's gonna be completed yes it's completed so for now I'll just change it to 10 episode that is enough for us and the maximum score is 78 here I'll just run this again we are just getting the score quickly wow we got like 77 that's the highest one so this is how the agent plays with uh, random actions so after training the model it will try to improve the score so that is the objective in reinforcement learning it will try to increase the reward so if you do the correct action it will give you a reward if you do the wrong action it will uh, give you negative rewards so that's how the reinforcement learning works now let's go for the model training again we have to create the environment and we equals gym dot make and name sorry and name so after creating the environment we have to vectorize for training we have to do that dummy vector environment colon and a list lambda is environment in some other video I will try to show you how to make a parallel uh, training like we will try to create like a stacked environment like four or six it can be uh, any number of environment we will train simultaneously and it will just speed up the process so that is the objective of parallel training now here we will initialize the model equals ppo now here we have to mention some policy so policy is nothing but the set of instructions how to uh, take the input and uh, produce the output so here we are going to use MLP policy MLP policy we have a CNN policy CNN policy means uh, it will 
take the image as input and uh, it will give the output based on the image and we also have LSTM policy it will try to observe the previous uh, end states and uh, it will give you the action so like that it will change so here it will take the current state and uh, it will give you the appropriate action that's how it works now after that we are going to pass the environment and uh, verbos equals 1 so I'm going to get all the information so verbos equals 1 means it will display all the information in the console and that's it you can also pass uh, additional arguments if you want so for us this is enough run this now it's showing uh, using CUDA device currently I'm using NVIDIA graphic card for this training purpose if you have CPU means it will it won't use uh, any CUDA device it will just use the CPU device itself if you are uh, using uh, NVIDIA graphic card means try to install CUDA toolkit and uh, all the necessary modules for uh, deep learning so you have to install tensorflow gpu torch gpu everything uh, we have to install for the gpu modules i think uh, i have to make a separate video on how to install uh, tensorflow and uh, pytorch for uh, gpu but you can able to train the model using cpu also it's not a problem now after initializing the model let's train it so model dot learn total time steps equals I will say around uh, 20,000 let's run this only the initialization takes some time so here you can able to see the FPS is like 352 so using this frames you can able to clearly uh, see how fast it's training and this is the total time steps so here uh, we have the training how many updates are done the learning rate these are the additional parameters you can able to pass like this learning rate and uh, other updates you can able to pass so now the training is uh, completed so you can able to see this is the loss updates this is the total updates it has done and this is the learning rate okay after doing like 20,000 steps we will see how it's working so if you want to save the model save the model you will just say model dot save the model name I will call it as uh, PPO model PPO model you can just uh, run this just leave it as it is I don't want to save the model now for testing the model I already mentioned we can able to use the evaluate policy uh, in order to test the model how it works so evaluate policy now we have to pass the model the environment and the number of evaluation episodes so you have to specify how many episodes you want to test I will specify it as 10 and render equals true render means it will display the environment and uh, it will also show you what are the action are taking by the agent now let's run this so here the trained model is uh, working pretty well you can able to see it's not like uh, so much oscillating like before in the random action so it's doing a pretty good job for uh, quick training we have done it just taken around uh, 30 seconds so it's not uh, that much time for training this uh, simple agent to balance this pole so it's moving further away here yeah if you move so much further means it will end the episode if you train it more means it won't even budge like uh, it won't even uh, oscillate a little it will just keep on still so yeah but we have to train a lot for that for our uh, testing experience I think uh, this is enough now it's done 
so this is the average score and we also didn't drop the poll as you can able to see and uh, the environment is still open so we will say environment.close now it's closed so this is how you can able to use evaluate policy and uh, try to get the score now we will try the alternate way so the alternate way is to use this particular uh, code so this is for random actions right now we are going to uh, make the action based on the model we have to do few changes so the changes are instead of say instead of state i will call it as observation so this is the starting observation and now after that uh, after rendering the environment we will say model dot predict and it will also create some uh, return some dummy value so i will have underscore here now model dot predict observation based on the previous observation it will try to predict the next action so here we have the action and we are taking the action in the environment all these things will be same we are just changing this end state to observation and we have the reward means we will add it to the score so after returning the observation it will uh, have a new states and it will try to predict the next action like this uh, the whole while loop works maybe let's run this now oh, it's trying to balance so here we got 200 that's the perfect score here also we have a perfect score so i think it's performing well so if it goes out of this window means uh, the episode will end but it's trying to balance pretty much well so after completing 10 episodes it will uh, close the environment automatically because we have specified it here yes now it's done we have all the perfect scores so our agent is performing very well compared to the random actions we have taken so in random action the maximum score we have got is 77 but after training we got a perfect 200 so that is so much better and uh, you may think what does the observation state look like so this is the observation state each uh, value represents uh, some attributes you have to see that in the documentation so it will uh, represents the position of the card pole and the uh, velocity like that it will have some attributes so after taking each action the observation changes so if you say environment dot reset so this is the initial observation as you can able to see after that uh, if you are uh, taking some steps it will uh, have a new states so that is here and that's it guys we have completed our first reinforcement learning project so that is card pole balance so apart from this card pole open open ai as uh, various games like atari games uh, space shooting like that uh, it has like plenty of games maybe i will try to create a video with some other game with a uh, parallel processing uh, that's the next step if you have any uh, queries related to this video please leave a comment below apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful see you guys in the next video